Astraeus III is the University at Buffalo's submission to the 2016 Brascal RoboOps competition. This is our prototype design to test functionality and troubleshoot issues before manufacturing a final rover. This year, the arm has dual linear actuators for increased speed and strength. The revised arm is also lighter with an improved workspace. Currently, the linear actuators for the arm are controlled using a speed control system. The four actuators that are driven by two motor controllers using PWM speed control. The actuators are wired in parallel, ensuring that both actuators on a joint receive the same signal and do not compete against each other. The next step is to add a positional control mode so that it can be automated in certain situations such as dropping the rock. The rover will utilize foam core wheels and DC motors with a target top speed of 3 meters per second. This year's rover uses an active suspension system. This uses four linear actuators and an inertial measurement unit to maintain a level chassis. When traveling over obstacles and uneven surfaces, the chassis remains stable. The suspension can adjust up and down four inches with 12 degrees of pitch and roll adjustment. To sense the orientation of the chassis, a BNO055 Absolute Orientation IMU is used. This chip contains an accelerometer, gyroscope, and magnetometer to determine the orientation in 3D space. The output is extremely stable and updates at 100 Hz. Currently, the rover can only correct pitch or roll separately by using proportional control of the linear actuators. Future work will be done to correct for pitch and roll at the same time while also allowing for manual control of the suspension for lifting up wheels while traversing large rocks. A variety of improvements have been made to our communication system. In addition to interfacing with our new speed-based arm controls, we have been working on implementing an inverse kinematic system. This allows the arm to be moved to a specific X, Y, and Z coordinate. Accompanying this functionality will be the use of stereoscopic vision. By using two cameras at different angles, the distance of a rock from the rover will be calculated. By combining these two features, we hope to automate rock pickup. Further improvements include more robust networking code and better blob detection. Future work involves finishing inverse kinematics and stereoscopic vision, refining the sensitivity and ranges of our blob detection, and re-implementing image streaming using the GStreamer API.